Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you a great hoodoo ritual for obtaining success in your business. So uh, this is Black Witches from blackwitchcoven.com and I'm here in New Orleans, Louisiana this month and I am creating new content for, it's a new course that was um, prepared by demand actually because so many witches want to learn about hoodoo and voodoo and as a chaos witch of course it's just amazing and you've got to have this skill in your toolbox. So um, I've been talking with some voodoo priests and root workers down here in the south and they've been very generous with their information and time to share with me some of these great um, spells and rituals. So of course, as a chaos witch, I've also infused my own techniques into um, not only the course, but my own spell casting because um, you've got to do what works for you. So no matter what any, any other practitioner does, including myself, you have an alignment that, um, that is your calling. And you must follow your calling because whatever you feel most confident in, that's what will be most successful for you. So in saying that, let's just get on with it. What, what do we need to do? Well, you can go down to one of the many shops here in New Orleans or even online and get a successful business candle. But otherwise, what you can just grab is a green candle. Now, the difference between grabbing a green candle any old green candle and one from say a hoodoo priest's store is that the one bought for example here from a hoodoo priest's store he has a little workshop out the back and he's adding the oils and he's doing the blessing on the candle already so you're buying already a a ready to go out of the box product a turnkey product if you get your own candle from the store, that's no problem at all. And it's much cheaper. I think I paid in US dollars, I think about $12 for this. So you can obviously buy a candle much cheaper from a store anywhere um, around the world. But what you might want to do is dress that with um, some, some type of oil. And really, does it matter? Well, it's really up to your own tradition. Okay, but if... Um, failing all other and as a chaos witch I use blood and I use a drop of my blood for any candle that I would be burning okay so um, that's that's about the candles do you need anything else powders well once again it's exactly the same thing if you want powders and you feel more confident and it gives you more confidence then by all means get some powders if you don't want to use powder then don't remember all of these anyway is just tools because what's most important is your intention isn't it so let me share with you i want you to write this down because this statement that i'm going to give you this incantation it's my own personal one and this is really to make you really focus on what your intention is. So this isn't a hoodoo incantation. This is mine, which I'm adding to this spell, right? I'm giving you away some secrets here. So get ready to write. You say, it is my will to use all my abilities to obtain the following goal. Now you do say all of that. It's my will to use all my abilities to obtain the following goal. And then the next sentence is whatever that goal is. And I want you to be specific. So if it's for the success of your business, you should already have your goal list for your business there, right? You should have an idea of what you want to achieve from the business. If you don't, then you're not going to achieve it anyways. So this is how specific you get really, really specific and what I do, okay, if you're using sex magic, you can charge the candle as well using sex magic. So for example, yesterday to actually charge this candle for myself, I began a sex magic ritual and then I release the energy into the candle with my intention. That's an option, okay? So what you do without 
adding that to it you just light the candle you can add a drop of blood of course if you wish and the drop of blood is an offering it's an offering to the spirits so if you're a woman in business you want to maybe use a spirit such as Oya Oya is a spirit that really is very good to help um, women in business so you make that one drop blood offering to Oya, you're petitioning Oya. So you light the candle and what you do is you read out um, the prayer or Psalm number 23. Now I know I, uh, I talk a lot about the use of religion and witchcraft because of course religion is in witchcraft what sent us you know to be burned at the stake look at Salem okay but in hoodoo practice you use prayer to really help the magic um, come along you're using the spirits and the magic for the success and so when you're saying the prayer Psalm 23 what you'll be doing is thinking about your connection to whatever God or source energy um, while you're saying that prayer okay so God can be whatever is God to you so God is your for me God is connection to source energy it's source energy so psychologically you need to move forward from that if you're going to work within hoodoo you light the candle you recite Psalm 23 and um, the power comes from reciting the palm this is a candle. I actually leave the candle lit. Okay. Now, if you choose to work the candle as I do every morning and every night, I will recite um, Psalm 23. And as I do that, I might, you know, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of luck drawing powder or whatever powder for money you could sprinkle over the top, whatever really gets you into the moment. You recite. Um, the prayer to Oya and um, you know you, you really make your intention for your business known to Oya you're asking Oya for this um, to be accepted and then you're releasing that intention so you have to really focus in and meditate on your intention so maybe you want to be and spend another few minutes really just thinking about what it would feel like for that to um, the success of your business to already have happened most powerful is that if you think about it as you're already in the moment you're already living in that success and if you really believe it to be true that's when business success will happen for you so I hope this has helped you. This is really traditional um, with a fusion of um, witchcraft. So that's why our new course, our new course is called Hoodoo Witchcraft because it is a fusion. So I'm going to be working my candle until this really burns down to the ground. The candle <coughs> is burning really, really well right now. The flame is, is consistent. It's strong. Um, it's flickering a little bit right now because I'm talking over the candle which is affecting the flame it's not burning too fast it's not burning too slow um, it's not dying out and so I'm really happy with the way that this um, candle is burning and what this will mean for me is success in my business okay I hope this brings you success as well